say that their all-father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Can you hear me? I'm right here. Can't you see me? No. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. A breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, the you voices, can. they've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet. It's so dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it rise and fall. Good. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. I can't go on. Delian? Find a way. I'm not leaving you here. I think I'm somewhere else now. But the breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? I hear what? Go to it. I've reached the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow it upstream. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of me. It won't let me go. Shannon. My father. He taught me the hardest battles of fought in the mind. Not the sword. No coward. Prove that to me in the warrior tribe. This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't for that. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, you are going to be a great warrior today. You need to be like you. I'll do my best.
is a house. I don't know what's inside. Don't be afraid. not following me. Leave it behind and keep moving forward. I think I'm in a house. It stinks. Of death. The darkness is testing you. You are in control. As well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. Tell you. Help me. Is that you? I can 
see a light. Yes, I can see you too. She could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself, in the dark. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were... gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere with no memory of how she got there. When it comes for me, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. King in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. It teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Finally! 
found him. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? How did you let him go? Just wait there. I'll find you. I'll go with you. You have to find him. This is your mission. Find him. You have to use everything you have and find him. Get him back. He was just there. How could you lose him? How could she lose him? How could she? Find him. I'll find him. What's that? Huh? Did you hear that? Nothing. Was that voices? Is that his voice or it's the voice of the dead? Not Dillian. Dillian's calling to you. Can Where you is hear? He? Where is he? He sounds like he's getting further away. <gasps> Have you lost him? You're going. You lost and have you lost? Don't touch the horse. You don't know what they might do. Turn back. <sighs> she has to keep going. It's not safe here. She has to keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. That's too scary. I can hear him. Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you.
Paula. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through you. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? Chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you. No. They will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! You've done it. You did it. The warrior trials. With grammar reforged, you will have Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillion was helping me. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. The sword is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. He left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this. But years later, with Zinbel's parting words still haunting her, the darkness came back with a vengeance. A plague. Do you? Everyone suffered. My father was not supposed to die like this. Do you see it clearly now, Senua? The suffering you've caused. This is your fault. You brought this plague to us! You have blood on your hands! They're coming for you now. They're coming. They're coming to get you. Hold your heavy strike. Hold it. Hold the heavy strike. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold your heavy strike. Unleash the sword. She's coming back. Mira, her focus is growing. She can do it. It's coming back. I loved. The ship broke up under them. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is sacred. Come not here in the sun. Come not with a sword. 
Come not crying over a naked corpse. Come not with disturbed mind. Do you hear the suffering, Senua? Does your precious gift of sight let you see the souls that rot here in this sea of corpses? Do you feel the blood running cold on your skin? Do you hear their endless cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? They were once brothers, sisters, and loved ones. And look at what you have done to them. All because you were a coward because you banned from your curse instead of facing it. When you turned your back on the Father Zimbo, you turned your back on the gods and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they pay for your heresy? Senoa, go to her. Answer Mother! her pitiful call. I need you. Help me. Darkness Why? took her life and it will take you. You're both you're dead. You dead. both dead. surrendered to me. Even your dear the beloved mother was powerless against the darkness when it came for her. She too had a sight. She too doubted the gods and let the darkness infest her. But she didn't run. She escaped the only way she knew how. She gave her life to the gods. If only you had done the same, the world would have been spared this horror. It's not too late. She's calling for you. Why don't you join her?
nearly over. Finish it. There's more. Be ready. He can defend himself. Keep going. She's come this far. She needs to keep going. Still fight on. Maybe you too should suffer with your brethren in the shrot and let your blood seep into the seas and the rivers of hell. Isn't that what you deserve after all you've done? Give the darkness what it wants, let it swallow your soul and destroy all that you are. Why are you fighting for someone who is already dead? Look around you. What hope is there for him, even if his soul could be rescued? Do you think he'd thank you for what you have done to him, to his friends, to his father? <laughs> gave up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother to go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her Senua look at me do you hear them calling for me. We 
we've lost so many. And I've lost my father. I can't lose you. You said it. I have blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Zimbal was right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poison. And his words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? Do you still believe in me, Senua? In us? Come back to me. Please. Don't let this darkness come between us. battles are fought in the mind. He gave her the sword with which to fight in more ways than one. And she gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help. A little hope. 